Best Streamlabs OBS setting for bad internet. Knowing the best Streamlabs OBS settings for bad internet can help optimize your streaming experience by reducing buffering, minimizing dropped frames, and maintaining a stable stream quality despite limited internet bandwidth. And here, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how to get this done. So the first goal that we have to know is to identify our internet speed. So you can do that by going to speedtest.net or any other speed test website that you prefer. So once you are here, what you're going to do is basically just click the go here and and then we're going to go ahead and wait for the result. Now take note that what we want to identify is our upload speed. The download speed is not as important as the upload speed. Because again, we are streaming, so we are sending more information to the server. And then the server can go ahead and distribute that to your viewers. Alright, there you go. So I think we are done. And as you can see, our upload says here is 91 Mbps, but you have only done this once. So you're going to go ahead and repeat this up to about five times. And then after doing the speed test several times, you're going to go ahead and get the average upload speed. So once you get the average upload speed, you're going to go to proceed to the next one. So again, our upload speed right now is 91. But say for example, we're just going to go ahead and proceed with around 75. Say for example, we have already tested our speed of five times or several times and then the average is around 70 so we're going to go in here now in restream you will be able to see here an article says what is a good upload speed for streaming take note that this is actually recent now we're going to go ahead and proceed so the ideal upload speed is anything around 61.5 mbps but that is actually a bit different from us so say for example you have a terrible internet now here's how you're going to do it um, you're going to go ahead and proceed and make sure that you have about 35 to 40 percent of the buffer because again if you are going to stream in that particular speed you need to have that constant speed and another thing that you also have to take note is that it will actually vary from one platform to another for example here in twitch 1080p 60 frames per second you'll need to have a constant of 7.4 mbps now that is actually pretty low but again this is constant speed you'll have to take note of the other tasks that you're going to do so say for example if you're streaming so you also have to make sure that you have enough speed for gaming now another thing here is youtube for 4k you need to have about 54 mbps so that is actually pretty much now in our case say for example we only have a very small upload speed so what we're going to do is basically settle for 720p so here's where we are right now uh, 720p 30 fps or if you're going to go ahead and jump to 60 fps you can do that as well so there is going to be around 3 to 8 mbps needed for your upload speed again this is constant so you also have here different for twitch as well as for youtube and oh yeah kick as well so yep, yeah, that is how you're going to do it. Now we're going to go to our broadcasting guidelines. Again, we're going to go ahead and settle for 720p, 30 FPS, or let's say we're going to go ahead and max it to 60 FPS if we have enough. Because again, our upload speed, say for example, is around 70 PS based on our upload test. So here we are now in our broadcasting guidelines. We're going to go and use 720p 60 FPS. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Streamlabs now. So we're going to go ahead and follow that one. So all we have to do really is basically click the settings. After clicking on the settings, we're going to go ahead and do something here. We're going to click stream. And then you're going to go ahead and connect to the one that you have here. For example, Twitch, we're going to broadcast to Twitch. You're going to connect. Or if you want to connect to others, you can definitely do that as well. Now we're going to go ahead and click the output. And this time, make sure that the output mode here is set to advanced. This is very important. Now for the encoder, you can definitely select which encoder you'd like to use. For example, the one that I use is H.264 and the old one, the one that doesn't have a new so I'm going to click that one and then for the rate control we're going to choose CBR and then for the bit rate this is very important we're going to go ahead and choose 4500 because we're going to stream at 60 FPS or we can downgrade this one to about 4000 FPS for the keyframe interval let's set that to 2 and then for the preset we're going to choose quality after doing that we're going to go ahead and proceed now i'm going to go ahead and click the video here so for the video we're going to change this one here 
So base resolution, basically this is telling us to use our PC. Again, the native canvas resolution of my PC is actually 1080p, so I'm going to go ahead and use that one. For the output resolution, we're going to set this to 720p. Again, we want to stream to 720p, so we're going to go ahead and choose that one. Now for the downscale filter, now this is actually going to be a little bit different depending on the quality or how bad your internet is. So I'm going to go ahead and suggest Bicubic and Langsus. Just go ahead and choose between the two. So if you're going to go ahead and choose Langsus, it's going to use 32 samples. That means it's going to pull a lot more resources than the Bicubic. So yep, just go ahead and try Langsus. But if that doesn't work, then go ahead and change this to Bicubic. And another is the FPS type, set this one to common FPS value. And then for the common FPS value, change this one to 60 because again, we want to stream to 60 FPS. So yeah, that's basically how you're going to do it. Now go ahead and click done and you are welcome to stream right now. So congratulations everybody, that is the best Streamlabs OBS setting for bad internet. Anyway, if you're interested in kicking off your streaming career with Streamlabs, click the link in the description box in order to save yourself up to $20 of discount. And as always, please check our channel for detailed Streamlabs tutorial. We have various levels of tutorials from the most basic ones such as how to set it up, all the way to things like using Streamlabs to stream to TikTok, fixing black screen, and so many others. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.